It is go time here in the Valley. So many big events from the Phoenix Open to Barrett Jackson to spring training. A lot of new people be in the Valley. So could that mean new love? We are talking about how to turn a casual meeting into a meaningful relationship. So our relationship expert, Dr. Gilda, is here with us. Good morning to you. Good morning. I'm holding your new book, Eight Tips to Understand the Opposite Sex. Not easy, because we both speak different languages. Right. And so, well, we're out of the Phoenix Open, or we're at yeah. Bear Jackson, so not only do we uh, maybe are looking for potential suitor, but we have to learn the language, and how do we make an impression? First of all, now is the time. This is a dude fest. Everybody, <laughs> this is the time that you learn the other person's language. Uh -huh. If you're a female, you're going to have to learn the male language. Okay. And you have to decode your own language first to understand how you're coming across. Now, you can't fake it because if you fake it, then yeah. it's just game playing. Right. And I suggest you never play games. You just do things that interest you. Right. If you're looking for something new and interesting, of course you want to get you might want to get into cars because you've never been into cars right. before. Start learning some of that lingo. Okay, so I should have been paying more attention when Wally was talking about the vehicles of the Charger, I think it was. We have some tips up here. Independent women are aphrodisiacs to grown-up men. Yes, What does they that mean? Notice, this is one of my gildograms, and notice independent women are aphrodisiacs to grown-up men. I, I knew Duh. those words were important. <laughs> It's the grown-up uh -huh. thing that you really have to pay close attention to. Because if a guy is a baby right. that he hasn't really grown up, he's not going to like your independence. And if anything, he's going to find it intimidating. And so then you, what are you going to do? Keep responding to him with, but, but, right. but, 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 yeah. and apologizing? Get off that. You want a grown-up. I think that's number one for every woman. Yeah, it's just finding yeah. a, a real man. And uh, we're going to be out at the open. We're going to be out at spring training. Uh, what do we do? We have to be open, smile. Maybe okay. we'll... You have to be available looking. And oh, Why who's, is Kaylee who's, laughing? Who's laughing in the back? <laughs> Me, sorry. <laughs> I keep adding some sound effects. <laughs> you have to seem as though you're really interested yeah. in somebody breaking through your wall. Okay. Now, I developed this really interesting technique that, in fact, yes. I was invited to Europe to discuss with corporate people. It's called my EDM technique. Okay, what and is this it? is totally different from what we have learned yes. as young women, as a young man. We first begin to have an dialogue. Not oh. a dialogue, not a monologue. And oh. what, what is typical? Oh, hi, my name is Dr. Gilda, and this is what I do. I'm a relationship expert, and I'm a college professor, yeah. and I write 17 books. Blah, blah, blah. Who's interested? No, what you have to have first Ooh, is, she's looking at me. is Ooh. that dancing Ooh, like that look. that's going yeah. on uh -huh. between your eyes. Okay. Once you have that, okay, you have something going. Okay. That's the E. The next is the D. That's the dialogue. And you talk about things from, well, you know, uh, weather or traffic or anything Keep that light. has nothing to do with personal things. Okay. But once you have somebody's interest, right. and this is whether it's a guy or, or somebody that you're trying to sell something to, then you get into your monologue because you've already primed that person. Okay. This works 100% of the time if you're selling something, mm -hmm. if you're talking to entrepreneurs, whoever, it doesn't make a difference. The EDM technique, dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. and then your monologue, okay. as opposed to what we Lead with the think. monologue, which is boring. It, boring! Wah, wah. And you're gonna lose the person. Uh -huh. And women tend to talk too much about themselves. Uh-oh. Well, we need someone, we need a producer in our ear, rap. <laughs> <laughs> that would help a little bit. <laughs> okay, believe only consistent behavior. Oh, that's right. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, and then he never calls. Yeah. Well, you're going to believe I love you? The or are you going to believe the behavior? Come on. And it's then only the behavior that you counts. have. We have 30 seconds. Ask for what you want and believe you will get it. Yes, yes. 
Believe that this is possible. Believe that you deserve it. I, I have whole programs about your deserve level. Not because you're entitled, because right. you breathe, but because you really believe you deserve to attract the proper person for you. All right, Dr. Gilda, a, a wink. Is it okay to wink at people still? Oh, that's right? okay, yeah. But worry what happens about after, after that time. Because when you're winking, uh -huh. your eye is closed. So you want to make sure you wink briefly and then smile. All right. Where's our camera? Go ahead. Give, <laughs> give the folks okay. a wink and a smile, Dr. Gilda.